All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, guys, we'll do my Europa League mock draw and my dream draw and my mock draw. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you guys want to do the mock draw. And yeah, get that early like button, guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already done so. And hit that subscribe button if you're new on here, guys, as we do the Europa League coverage on the channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this, man. So we have all the group winners, the eight group winners here against the eight second, the eight teams that made it through the playoffs. And let's go ahead and start the draw, man. I also did my dream draw as well. So we're going to start the mock draw first. Let's just start it here. Let's see okay so here we have it so roma brighton okay that's a good matchup by the because of spar pro is interesting milan spar uh spar pro then we have milan slavia pro glasgow rangers sporting is interesting quarterback versus villa real adelante versus benfica marseille versus liverpool and west ham versus freiburg so we got some interesting uh round of 16 matchups man um, I think for my the best matchup of the eight, I would probably say is probably I'd say maybe Adelante Benfica. I think that's a very that's a difficult one to call. I think that's the most interesting. Maybe quarterback Villarreal, Roma Brights is also a good one. Okay, so let's go ahead and now do my uh let's go ahead and do my dream draw now, guys. So get that up for you guys. So let me start from the first slide to get it up. So give guys, give me a few seconds to get this settled in. So here we are. All right, so like I said, this is all the 16 teams I, I advanced. Um, and yeah, sorry, the image isn't great. I just need to do a full screen. But yeah, this is all the 16 teams. All right, let's start with the first matchup. Matchup one we got here is Roma versus Brighton. Yeah, I feel like this is a good matchup because Roma have been, you know, they've been in good form with their new manager, De Rossi. And I feel like this is a good test. You know, both these managers and both these teams have been kind of underperformed for their standards and I think Brighton have also not have a great season. So they haven't been as good as they were last season. So I just feel like it's a really interesting one. It's a difficult one to call. And I think it's going to go either way. So that's why I want to see this matchup. And then obviously we've got Sparrow Prog versus Rangers. I think it's a great matchup here. Uh, and obviously both these teams, I believe, were in the same group. If I know. Oh, yeah. Both these teams are in the same group. And, you know, it's a rematch. And let's see which team comes out on top in this one. So that'll be interesting because we know Sparrow Prog, how good they are in the counterattack. We know Rangers how good how good their Europa League pedigree is. Remember they made it to the Europa League final the last time they were in the competition. So that's gonna be very interesting. And obviously the two teams they play against at the group stage. So that's interesting. And yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention this earlier. So te the teams in the same confederation can't play against each other. Um that's one rule. And another rule, and that's pretty much the only rule. Teams that have played in the group stage before can't play again. The Milan Liverpool. This is a big matchup. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have one big match in the round of sixteen, and this is a huge one. Because we're going to get one heavyweight team out of the round of 16. Either that be Milan or Liverpool. And you can make a stronger argument that both these teams are like favorites for the competition. And that's what makes it very interesting. So how Liverpool, will they prioritize this competition? Or are they going to go for the Premier League? You know, and for Milan, I think they got to go all in for the Europa League. Because Serie A for me is, it's it's it's, it's an interest to lose, right? The next up is Sporting versus Leverkusen. I think it's a great matchup here. Both these teams play very expensive attacking football. And what's very interesting with this matchup is... How will Leverkusen do? Are they going to prioritize the, the league or are they going to prioritize the Europa League? And for Sporting, they're also in an interesting position because they're also in a huge league battle as well. So it's really interesting because one of these teams are going to have to sacrifice the league if they want to go all the way in. So that's that's interesting. You know, uh, the next up is Adelante, uh, Freiburg versus Adelante. I think it's a very interesting one, guys. Um, you know, Adelante is top of the group with their pragmatic style. And Freiburg as well. We know how good they how underrated they are. And I think it's a very interesting guys. This could go either way. And it's difficult to make a prediction. Uh, the next up is Korobek versus Slavia Pro. I think it's a great, great matchup here. Both these teams play expansive football. Both these teams are very uh, good in the counterattack. And I think that's what makes this matchup very interesting to see how this one pans out. And I'm really curious to see how this one transpires. Uh, the next up is Marseille versus Villarreal. This is an interesting one because both these teams have been kind of underwhelming this season. Uh, the respective leagues, but they have been good in Europe. So, you know, that's going to be interesting. So I just think it's going to be very interesting to see how this one pans out because both these teams, uh, like I said, have been underwhelming. And, the, and then uh, we got Benfica versus West Ham. I think it's a very interesting one, you know, see how West Ham could do against a Benfica team that have been, you know, kind of been underwhelming this season. So, yeah, man, that was pretty much it. That's pretty much my Europa League dream draw and my mock, uh, mock draw for you guys. I will be doing a YouTube short, guys, for my predictions. I'm going to do a quick predictions video, so stay tuned for that. And um, like I said, guys, so remember to like and subscribe, guys. I'm going to go to the thoughts comes below. And let me know what matchups you guys want to see in the comments below. I'm definitely going to read those guys' comments. And yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.